Hey guys, it's Andy with The Rag Company, and if you're watching this video, then you're probably wondering what kinds of polishes and compounds do not stain trim. Now, if you're not new to machine polishing, then you know that during the polishing process, if you're using an old school compound or even a new school compound in some cases, if you hit that precious black trim, whether it be rubber or plastic, it could result in an unsightly stain. Now what happens is that the chemicals within the compounds or the abrasives within the compounds essentially etch their way into that plastic, dry those plastics out, leaving a white residue that is extremely hard to remove and it doesn't look good. Now this isn't just something that happens with just polishes and compounds, this also happens with waxes as well. When certain waxes touch trim and touch rubber, they will also stain as well, especially old school paste waxes. But what's amazing about the detailing world that we live in now is that technology has advanced to the point where you don't have to worry about that anymore. So if you're still using this, you don't need it because the products in front of you here are two products that I can verify do not stain trim. In front of me is Optimum Hyper Polish, which is a polish and not a compound, just a polish. Next to that is the Last Cut Compounding Glaze. Do not pay attention to the word glaze because this isn't a glaze, this is a compound. Now what's amazing about both of these polishes and compounds is that they are a pad dependent cut, meaning that if you need more cut out of something, just simply change your pad to a more aggressive pad. You get a long working time with both Hyper Polish and the Last Cut Compound. Now staining trim is something I don't have time for and you shouldn't have time for either. If you calculate the amount of time it takes to tape off an entire car, that is time that you could spend already polishing. You could be halfway done or at least a quarter of the way done with a car by the time that you're done taping off literally everything on the car. And taping is time. It's not worth it, especially if there's products out there that can save you that time. Now what's cool about Optimum Hyper Polish is not only does this product not stain trim, it can remove old stains on trim, which is freaking amazing. So if you have old compounding marks or old wax marks or polish marks or whatever it is on your plastic rubber trim, you can take Hyper Polish to that area and it will literally make it look like new again. This is one of my favorite detailing products out there and it is so underrated if you haven't tried it yourself. Now what's amazing about the Last Cut Compound is that you get all the cut you would ever want out of a major compound. So if you're an old school fan of Meguiar's 105 or all those other harder compounds out there, this gives you that same cut, if not even more, but a longer working time, it keeps the temperature lower, doesn't stain trim, and it smells like coconut, which is pretty awesome as well. Now these are two products here that I can verify and the rag company can verify as products that don't stain trim and will save you taping time. Tape does not need to be in the equation anymore if you don't want it to be. But if you're one of those weirdos that enjoys taping and finds it weirdly therapeutic, then have at it if you want to. But what I'm saying is, I can get more work done with these two products alone and get that car polished very, very fast. So hopefully you found this information useful and wins you over on Optimum Hyper Polish and the Last Cut Compound. If you know of any other polishes or compounds that don't stay trim, leave them down in the comments so others can find out for themselves.